Hello and welcome to the second part of this uh, video series starting uh, how to use RAIN, um, an introduction to it. Uh, the second part, we're going to be um, setting up your user account. Inst of course, installing the software. I'll show you what uh, help looks like and what the order flow uh, looks like also in RAIN. And uh, we'll do an enrollment. Uh, we'll make a request to get some hosting. And then we will do a sync of our enrollment, which should put our uh, user record up there. Okay, so to start, we are going to download the software from GitHub, and uh, I will start actually going to uh, GitHub directly with that link and go to Python Rain, the uh, command line tool for this, and we will um, look at what we have so far. Okay, so first we're going to do a git clone to get the code. Once we've cloned it, we're going to check out the alpha. So uh, let's see, actually, we're not in the side right, the right place yet. Let's go into Python Rain and get uh, check out the alpha. So now we are using the alpha tagged code. <clears throat> and I'm going to now create a virtual environment for this because I have to do uh, a bunch of different installs. Um, and part of what I need to do is use Python 2.7 for uh, Python rain. So I'm going to first find Python 2.7 with which, and then I will put that in my uh, dash p for a virtual environment. Seven, and we'll just call this v. Now we'll activate that virtual environment. So now we can see with the uh, little v here that the virtual environment is active. And we will go into Python Rain again. And now we can do a pip install dash dash editable dot. And this means if we change the code for development purposes, if we happen to change the code, uh, those changes will be reflected immediately. Uh, so it's installed, and at the same time it's linked to the, the code that's in this uh, directory that we might change. So install a few packages there and we will be able to run our first command. Let's run rain. So here you can see it's printed out the help. It shows usage. It's got this section here showing the different um, different commands that are available. This uh, is all the commands right now with the alpha and a couple of options. Um, of course, if you want to get help on any specific option, you can run uh, that, that command with the dash dash help. So for example, rain setup dash dash help. Oops. Help, and this shows you that the multi option is there uh, to be able to set up multiple identities if you want. Okay, so once we've got, now we have rain installed, now I want to show you the uh, order flow before I start doing anything um, in the software. So I'm going to go back to the website and here is a flow chart that shows the order flow uh, inside RAIN. So uh, we're going to begin uh, even before this. We have to do an enrollment to create a user record. But once we've done that, um, you can see the job creator will post a job. Uh, workers then submit bids. They can see the jobs that are posted and um, the job creator then will review those bids and once they accept a bid um, they do so by putting in an offer and that <clears throat> that plus uh, funding the appropriate uh, addresses creates the job in, in a way that uh, workers should start working on it um, in the ideal case the worker then works on it and delivers um, whatever it is they're supposed to do whether it's uh, programming or uh, graphics or uh, do some writing and then they post a link with the deliver command, so worker deliver, and then uh, the job creator can review the delivery that's made, the deliverables, and they can accept it. And once they accept it, they're basically releasing any um, any ability to do a, a dispute uh, to try and re recover those funds. And uh, along with the acceptance, they should uh, then paste in transactions that are signed to pay the worker and to pay the mediator. 
Um, then at this point we have uh, the payments are sent and that's it. Uh, so this video we're not going to get into the actual order flow. We're not going to run any of these commands but I just wanted to kind of go over that uh, to start with. Okay so our next step we're going to start the enrollment uh, procedure and actually what I've been doing for testing is I created a couple of users and these are in this Google Doc here um, and these are users that, for which I, I just have the private keys uh, for their main address, their master address, and also for their delegate addresses. And I've defined them kind of like this. Bob would be your job creator. Alice is a mediator. And Charlie is the worker. Um, and of course you, you want to test around the other way too, but for testing I have, have created these. So first we're going to start by creating Bob. I'm just going to copy his, uh, his address because I know I'm going to need that. And we're going to do rain setup. So now it's asking, create a new account, enter name or handle, I'm going to put Bob in, and an email or bitmess address. So I'm going to put bob at example.com, and then his master Bitcoin address goes in here, paste that in, and it does validation on it. And you can see there's a bunch of text here that explains more what's going on, um, but I'm just going to kind of steam through this, uh, as you can definitely read these things as you're, as you're doing it. Uh, so now they want the delegate address. The delegate address is what will be signing everything day to day. And Rain needs to know also the delegate address's uh, private key. So we'll take that and paste it in. And the theory is we can change that later. I pasted it, but this is a, a password prompt, so it's not going to show it. Hit enter though, it does validate it. And then um, this is Bob. So he's not, he doesn't have to be a mediator. So I'm just going to say, uh, the, accept the default, no. And so at that point, it's put together his enrollment, uh, which shows uh, the information um, the information that's going to be signed about his record. And I can copy this here, and I'm going to make a new window. I'm actually going to go to that same folder. Let's bring this over here so you can see it. Video, Python rain. I'm running it here. Uh, it's, already, it's made this file enrollment.txt. And I can actually just copy it here too. And so what I need to do is I need to sign this statement with the private key for the master signing address. So uh, the tool that I will use to do this, and this sh should ideally be done on an offline computer, um, this master address private key should be treated like the identity itself. So it's very important that it be kept secure. Um, you know, multiple encrypted copies backed up and uh, maybe that it never goes online. The tool I will use to create to uh, sign that message is here, sign. Uh, this is a Bitcoin signature tool based on the um, the Brain Wallet software that was uh, basically disabled or kind of turned off, but they still have it in the, the Git uh, history. So I've had this um, modified, and then conveniently the default private key that's in this signature tool is the one that I use for Bob's uh, for for Bob's master address. So you can see this one, 5KYZ, is the same as 5KYZ here. So this will do a, a convenient signature for testing. So now I sign the message, copy this, and then I'm going to paste this back to the enrollment.txt. So I got to go back to, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one out and paste it. And then I'm going to write this as enrollment.txt text.sig, which is what the script you can see is, is uh, expecting. Write that out, and then uh, quit. I'm not saving it, that file. So hit enter, and what's happened is it's just checked, it just verified the signature, that I made a signature with the master address included in that document, and um, it has stored that enrollment, that signed enrollment document in the local database inside RAIN. So now we want to run RAIN request and for this, um, this is holy dilemma. Okay, so now I need to know, am I running uh, any Causeway servers on this computer? So let me just uh, check that real, real quick. Um, no, we don't need this one. Although this might be the one that I'm thinking of, actually. I guess we do have it. So let's do rain request. And then we just have to put in the URL. So uh, it will put on the HTTP part of it. Right now I've been testing everything under HTTP, but of course HTTPS is going to be necessary. We'll try 5000. 
there we go. Okay, so we've just registered a what's called a bucket uh, with rain, and <clears throat> we actually already have a bucket on this uh, server that I did with a previous installation. Uh, so normally it would just say success, you have one bucket. And so I will register with a couple of different Causeway servers that I'm setting up. And Causeway is the server component to rain. Um, so this is the what we're expecting to have multiple, many, many of these kind of servers that you would sign up for and pay like a quarter a year or some kind of very small amount of money to to register that. Um, so what we've done now is we've requested that hosting and this local copy of rain uh, knows about that hosting. So then when we do the next command, which is rain sync, it uploads those, it uploads that enrollment document to those two servers. Um, and that completes what we wanted to really do with this video, which was to install the software, uh, the right version, um, kind of show you the order flow chart, uh, do an enrollment, uh, request hosting, and then do the sync. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, if you want to check out the, the third video, uh, we'll get into actually posting a job, doing bids, and uh, I, will I will set up a couple of other users, uh, the Alice and the Charlie, um, between this video and that video so it's a, it's the same exact process except you know setting that so and so is a mediator uh, that Alice will be a mediator uh, and then syncing those also to the the same Causeway server um, but for most of you, you you won't really have to do that so uh, that's it for now uh, if you like this video you want to see more like this past the series then uh, go ahead and subscribe um, otherwise we'll see you in the next video